hello traders it's Samurai Trader here welcome to this training session it's not going to be a long recording but I wanted to answer a number of questions that I receive almost daily about trading divergence which is of course also known as counter trend trading it's something that virtually every trader wants to do is pick bottoms and pick tops and jump on divergence trading but it's also an area of it's, it makes it very very easy to lose money and I'm going to really show you the right way and the wrong way of trading divergence so with that being said a couple of things I want to cover before we get underway first of all I need to of course uh, put up the risk disclaimer there is a risk in trading uh, if you haven't uh, watched one of my recordings or read my risk disclaimers let me get this out right <laughs> risk disclaimer please take the time in reading the disclaimer also uh, we will be going to some charts in a moment so bottom right hand corner if you click on that you'll be able to go to full screen so I'm going to be covering uh, how to trade divergence so I'll be giving you a whole lot of tips and ideas so I'd recommend if you've got a, uh, a notebook handy and a pen that this make it a little easier but before we do get under underway with talking about the trade itself I just want to give a very very quick um, advertisement first of all if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel please do if you haven't got my free ebooks I now have a uh, an ebook on mastering day trading uh, the truth about day trading so I've got a couple of ebooks you can go straight to my website to request those and very very important is that my program the day traders fast track program I now provide indicators for TradeStation, NinjaTrader 7, NinjaTrader 8, MT4 or Thinkorswim are all included uh, within the 197. There is no upsell. You're not going to get a telephone call from a telemarketer, etc. But I want to make a very, very important announcement. And for new members or even current members watching this, you'll also be included. Just drop me an email and we'll make sure you get the passes for this. Now, new and new traders suffer from what I call confused knowledge. That is, you get bombarded there's so much information out there about day trading uh, we're always studying reading that is the most I suppose the um, those traders that with a passion for trading always studying ideas and strategies but if they they get very confused but also when you invest in the day traders fast track program that also can be a common problem that is in my program as as you're aware or if, if you're not aware you're about to find out there are dozens of videos in my program and I want to truly fast track your success as a trader so what I'm now doing for every new member that purchases the day traders fast track program I'm now presenting either myself or John uh, four live one hour webinars over two weeks where you can watch and listen as we explain in detail our trade setups because traders we have the world's best strategies and uh, I promise you that because I've been researching this business for years so what I'm now doing is presenting over two weeks four live webinars where you're able to log in watch listen and ask questions that is you you can't talk back to us because we're presenting the webinar but you can type in the chat box your questions what this means to you is we can truly fast track you and put you on the fast track with my most popular setups now in my program this is just a short list there are now over 200 videos now don't feel overwhelmed but this is where a lot of traders do initially feel overwhelmed so the purpose of the four one hours is to put you on the fast track to say okay um, here are our top setups here are the top four or five setups to focus on here's how they work you can type in questions as much as they're already covered in videos just allows you to get to them very very quickly and makes life a lot easier and we're going to be covering uh, things such as what are the right uh, which are, which trading platforms you use um, what time frames which markets and a whole lot more over four live sessions we'll also be discussing my Google Drive and this is an old shot here but we've got basically dozens of ebooks uploaded charts recordings PowerPoints I mean traders it truly is the world's most comprehensive uh, uh, program for active day and swing traders that's all involved it's all included in the day traders fast track program which is only $197 and you get the live webinars so that's the end of the ad so let's now uh, get into it uh, uh, one last thing I've got to say these sessions 
uh, are for both uh, very educational they're learn to trade sessions they're for beginners intermediate and advanced traders so if, um, over 70 percent of my, my traders that work with me are advanced traders the whole idea traders are that uh, in at least two of those sessions we spend the whole time just going through live examples of the setup so it's really designed to fast track you now let's now get to trading divergence now with traders one of the greatest challenges with traders is that we we want to be hunters we want to go and hunt the setup well trading divergence we need to wait for it to come to us and you need to be very picky you need to be very patient you need to be what I call a sniper a sniper lays in wait and it's very very easy to be what I call smashed or hammered when you trade divergence so I want to run through some examples but here's a couple of things I'd like you to write down now I'm not going to turn this into a great big session this is covered very very comprehensively in my program but please write this down number one do you have angulation and I'm going to cover that in a moment but I want you to write these down do you have a bubble please write that down do I have a bubble so do I have angulation do I have a bubble do I have a pivot bounce number four have I got room to move to the major EMAs and you'll see that in a moment am I in a channel now we know that when you're trading channels you want to sell the highs by the lows but if you're in a channel uh, traders it's very easy to be hammered if you're divergence trading now uh, the other thing is now do I have two hills and I'll explain what that is in a moment so first first of all traders a t7 is a double top or double bottom when you have a double top or double bottom with the trend or counter trend there uh, really adds to the chances of your trade coming off as you're about to see so we have in our program we've really got three main setups when we're counter trend trading the t3 the t19 and the t89 uh, and all of that really is combined with divergence and as we go through this I'll show you some example the greater the angulation that is the the steeper you see price action moving away from your EMAs the um, from the major EMAs the better the chances of your trade coming off now what I'm about to show you here works on all markets and basically all time frames now please remember that for low of a time frame you do have what I call more noise uh, you will have more um, false signals however um, of course as day traders um, we use lower time frames now in this particular example we're looking at we're looking at the NQ 144 tick chart so we're looking at the NQ 144 so what we're going to do is quickly draw up uh, some trend lines so what we can see is a big sell-off here now in our courses we call this a t3 all right when you get a big drop like this and what I like to do here is and it's not exactly on the bottom is I always like to have my stop two ticks below a swing low or above if that was a swing high above there or below now in this particular case I'm not going to measure it so it doesn't really matter but what we've got here is a fall away for a t3 that then failed as a direct follow-through and then we form what we call a double bottom now a double bottom or double top by the way and here's a little double top here can be within two ticks walks like a duck acts like a duck quacks like a duck it's a duck okay so if it's within two ticks it's a double top so we've got a double bottom formation and this is what we've got we've got divergence here on our MACD so we can see we've got divergence and we've got a double bottom all right this is a big tick towards um, uh, your trade coming off and you also have what I call angulation so what exactly is angulation angulation is when you see price action uh, uh, moving well away you've got an angle price action has moved away at an angle from your major EMAs okay now the next thing when you do have your entry you want to be checking out how much distance do I have to my major EMAs right because the further away from your major EMAs that is the greater the angle the greater the profit potential and the more likely you are to have what I call follow through so you've got divergence here we've got plenty of room here to the majors which are really which are uh, up here my 89 and my 200 I've got plenty of room so that really um, ticks all the boxes as a 
a counter trend or a divergence trade but one thing I did want to mention here is this notice here that I now have divergence in the direction of my higher time frame now we want to ignore the first one because what I, I mentioned earlier uh, to what I call two hills two hills so this is one hill and this is two hills so it's just a term I've coined over the years one hill goes down and forms another hill so in this particular case we can see here that we've got a higher high on price and we have a lower high on our divergence indicator so we actually could have entered up at this point here However, one thing you want to be aware of when you have really deep pullbacks to your 200 quite often a lot of these change trend direction now in this particular case you actually uh, it actually paid off for a few ticks bounced up and then formed a nice little t7 a little double top there then it fell away very nicely thank you very much now we then had price fell away and we have divergence setting up again now my divergence indicator is very sensitive and you can see here I've got two little hills so we can see here price come down pulled up we had a bit of a bounce then it fell away again and we had two hills form we actually have an entry right there once we close above our EMA or what I call the trigger line we have an entry then we went up there and we bounced off the major EMA so you had probably about eight to ten ticks of profit potential immediate profit potential there before you bounce now what we then had was form was a t7 a nice little double bottom so yes you've got a bit of a tail here but that doesn't matter so price actions come up come down and if we draw it across here this is what I call a big picture divergence so you've now formed and sorry it's not exactly square it doesn't matter but it's come down and I'm waiting for a close and if you want to really confirm the trade you want to wait for a close above the trigger line which is right there so here are a couple of examples so one let me just go back to some of the rules do I have angulation and you can see price is steeply angled away from the major EMAs this is what I also call a bubble so angulation and this that bubble this it looks like a, a, a bubble it does to me anyway that's why I call it a bubble formation uh, do I have a pivot bounce now if you're trading with floor pivots you'll quite often see divergence trades that pay off really well that come off pivots that adds an extra probably a 10% um, uh, addition to your trade coming off successfully so watch for divergence trades uh, against major EMAs or against pivots the next question I had there do I have room to move to the EMAs now if you're trading multiple contracts you may choose to then uh, pull half of them off there maybe let the rest uh, run you had a decent pullback your stop should have been somewhere down here and then it took off to the upside so remember that usually you'll get a bounce as we did over here and we did here and we did here on the major EMAs do you have two hills well it's very hard to see but you actually had a little two hill there uh, not a perfect setup here you've got definitely got two hills let me just uh, show you a couple of other examples perhaps okay here we've got an example where you've got it angling away it's not perfect but you do definitely have a high high on price so very important here that you can see here that our uh, our MACD is sloping down we've got our high high on price now I mentioned earlier channels this is where you've got to be very very careful that uh, that you've got definite angulation and bubbles because what will happen in a very very strong trend you'll get these divergence uh, uh, indications setting up that is divergence on your MACD etc but price just pulls back and continues price pulls back then continues so you've got to make sure that you don't or you're not trading in a channel so what we've got uh, let me just show you one more example here you can see here that we've got um, uh, two hills one two we've got a lower low our entry is on the close above the trigger line we've come up here we've had a turn then we had a, another divergence trade set up not great divergence in this sense but we did have lower price very rarely is it exactly perfect traders but we can see here we would have entered our trade over the trigger line and away we go
so it doesn't matter if I had have told you this was CL or this was the ES or this was um, uh, a major stock you, you go back and you'd accept it because the formations are basically exactly the same on every market now what I recommend traders is that you go back and you spend time and you mark up 100 divergence trades on the favorite on your favorite market whether you're a, a day trader or whether you're more of a swing trader divergence trading works but you've got to be very very picky with your entries that is you definitely want to meet those rules angulation the bubble you want to have um, uh, room to move to the major EMAs you want to make sure that you're not in a tight channel very very important so thank you traders I hope there's some ideas here just remember now with my uh, day traders fast track program of a four live webinars and also of course you can join our educational live trading room that runs um, from 7 30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time through to midday Eastern Standard Time so uh, thank you very much traders and I'll see you on my next recording please uh, subscribe and go and request my ebooks